Nick Stewart is here as well because we're well into uh, music festival time. It's the summer. Uh, it looks like the summer. Uh, it feels like the summer. Uh, there's rain. There's thunder. There's sunshine. Uh, let's find out from Nick what he's looking forward to. Nick, a very good uh, afternoon to you. Welcome. <laughs> Um, very nice to be back with you. Um, it is the summer. The weather is is great. As the song says, the weather is fine. Yes. Um, Glastonbury this year has got quite a lot of, um, I would call, what I would describe as quite senior acts. Let's quickly look at the pyramid stage. Yeah. Um, Texas are on. On Friday, Texas come in. Uh, Royal Blood. You may remember Royal Blood went to Scotland uh -huh. and... Caused a bit of a stir by um, a sort of saying, you know, clap louder for us and got a little, little bit irky at the reception that they got. Let's hope they get a better reception on Friday at quarter past eight. And then probably England's, you know, I mean, you can argue the toss, but England's best band, you know, Arctic Monkeys headlining on Friday. Saturday, Ray, who um, recently had a number one album, despite leaving her record label, earlier in the year yeah. didn't want to make an album with her she's there Lewis Capaldi's on Lizzo's on and Saturday's headlining is Guns N' Roses which won't be dull I imagine no and then Sunday is actually really apart from one act quite old school I mean Sophie Ellis Baxter the Chicks uh, formerly known as the Dixie Chicks yes uh, Yusuf Cat Stevens dear Cat Stevens uh, who I worked with back in the day is um, doing what they call the legacy tea time spot okay of um, Blondie, who I also work with, um, are on at five o'clock. Little Now X, who is probably the most uh, recent act, is on at seven, and then Elton closes it at nine. And that's just the pyramid stage. Yes. But lots of other great acts across the weekend. Um, it just grows and grows mm. and grows. And which, and which Elton John do you think we'll be seeing uh, on this particular occasion? Because you never quite know with him, do you? Well... I would be extremely surprised if you didn't get two solid hours um, of Elton playing all his greatest hits. Yeah. Well, that's always the hope, isn't it? You always that's hope for that. I don't... I, I, Mark, I can't see him... There's no. He's not promoting a new album. Right. Um, this is part of his farewell tour, and if you're expecting to hear everything from Goodbye Yellow Brick Road to... Uh, your song to Tiny Dancer, I think you won't be disappointed. No, I think he'll, he'll do all of that. And, I mean, it's always interesting when people like Elton John go back onto the stage because they take a different band with them, maybe. Uh, they may not have all the same people they used to have. You know, that uh, uh, that very tall, blonde guitar player uh, called D, I think his name was. Um, I think it was in Martin uh, Crittenden. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was, always, he was always in the... You know, every single time you saw Elton John, he was always there. Ray I, Cooper, I can tell you, his percussionist was certainly... Being he, really yeah, he's a great man, isn't he? Part of the, he's part of the Elton John show. Yeah. And there's talk as well that Taylor Swift, apparently, even though she's not booked in, has left a, some sort of gap in her schedule and that she may turn up at some point to join somebody on stage. I don't know whether she would do that, but what have you heard? Well, I certainly haven't heard that, um, and it would cause quite a stir if she suddenly arrived mm. on by helicopter and performed and went away again. That's the sort of thing she would do, actually, because she's because she, that's what she can do now. Yes. Um, I, 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 look, it would be pointless for me to speculate on, on that. I think it's highly unlikely. But I'd be delighted to brew wrong. Yes. Brew. Now, you've, you've worked with almost uh, uh, everybody that's ever been anybody in the business. Have you been to Glastonbury? Did you, did you like festival season or was it a pain in that backside? Well, it's going to sound odd, this. I, I have never been to Glastonbury. My favourite festival is the Isle of Wight Festival, which I went to last weekend, which was a huge success, run by um, John Giddings, who brought it back yeah. out of extinction, as it were. Um, I... I'm actually not very good, I'm sorry to say, in huge crowds. I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> and given the fact, as you alluded to in your intro or before the intro, that the BBC, we, we can talk about the BBC, I hope, I hope you, are going to be covering it in, in, great, um, in great style. Uh, I'm going to watch what I want to watch on TV. Yes. Um, and that sounds rather feeble. I know plenty of no, people... It's, no, it's a lot more pleasant. We normally are going, actually. Mm. Interesting, Mike. Quite a lot of people I know who normally are going, you know, and they're saying, no, actually, I've had a couple of journalists saying I'm not going, and managers and that sort of thing. There are hundreds of, not hundreds, thousands and thousands of people who are going. Because for them, 
um, and it is a wonderful um, annual ritual. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I think what Michael, e Michael and Emily Evis has done is extraordinary in terms of building this thing up, to building this village. Someone said to me yesterday, you couldn't walk around the entire Glastonbury experience stroke setup in a day. You couldn't do it. No. No, it's vast, isn't it? And I've covered some of the main acts that are playing, but there are in the region of 20 plus stages and there are lots and lots of bands making their debut there. Uh, you know, the Autumn Saints, for example, who went to um, Isle of Wight mm. last weekend, they won a competition on the Pilton stage from 700 acts. 700 acts went into the competition to try and get to play at Glastonbury, the Autumn Saints won it. So they're an Americana band from Oxford and they are going to be playing on five of the smaller stages. So, you know, it, it goes right the way down across folk, jazz, blues, everything. Everything is there. Every form of con music and non-contemporary music is there. Yes. I mean, my days of uh, going to festivals kind of ended in Scotland. I went to one of the last Tea in the Parks uh, when R.E.M. were playing. Um, and I was there sort of because I'd been invited up as a, a newspaper guy, and I realised I'd driven there in a Volvo um, uh, with, my, with, in a, with, 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 with my with my girlfriend, and we just we decided we couldn't hang around too long because I had to drive back to Glasgow, and I thought this is it, that's the end, you know, I'm finished. <laughs> never been, never saw never saw oh, REM. REM, Mike. Where REM? You saw REM? I saw them inside arenas. Yeah, and they were very good i never worked for them but i was at warner's when they were at their peak met them all um they were very good in arenas what were they like at g in the park what were they like outdoors yeah no they were great i mean because i ended up watching it on tv and they were terrific i didn't actually see it live the one i did see live the, my favorite sort of festival ish show was led zeppelin the last ever led zeppelin show 1979 at nebworth which was fantastic. That was one they do talk about. But, of course, the, the, the other thing about Led Zeppelin, I, I don't know whether you were, I went to their farewell show at the O2 mm. to collaborate Atlantic Records. Right? And the noise in there was absolutely amazing because it had nowhere else to go to yeah. go around and around. Of course, at a festival, it goes into the ether. Right. So it's not quite as as um, uh, as... as Poundingly loud as, as, as it can be. No, but but it is uh, one of those things that everybody goes through in the summer. Thank you very much indeed. Nick Stewart, a uh, music industry expert, there giving us a rundown of what's happening at Glastonbury this weekend. Uh, the BBC, as I say, sending a thousand people um, to uh, to cover it, which is quite remarkable.